Hi, I'm Sean Gellin, uh, Head of Organisational Learning and Development for Historic Environment Scotland. Uh, we are uh, one of the larger employers within the heritage sector, um, employing 1,500 people um, across a wide range of disciplines and subject areas. Uh, we have 300 properties in care, which are significant cultural sites across Scotland that we care for. Um, and there are a range of activities go on to support these sites. You may know us more about people who look after Edinburgh Castle and Stirling Castle, but they're only two of our 300 sites. And lots and lots of other stuff go into how we perform our daily tasks. Over the last number of years, we've been developing our career pathways into the organisation. We've um, got Foundation Modern and Graduate Apprenticeships. Um, we also have a number of traineeships uh, and um, interns that we run. We take on foundation apprentices, so they're mainly within our business admin, but we're growing that um, to allow us to build those networks with young people in schools to help um, uh, chart a pathway for what a potential career could be with us or the wider sector. And we take on um, a number of different modern apprenticeship routes. Um, we've got our cultural venue operations, which um, helps young people come in and spend some time learning the activities of a um, busy tourism site like Stirling or Edinburgh Castle. They get an opportunity to learn what it is to um, deliver a guided tour, the logistics that go into managing a popular site in Scotland um, and, and all of that tourism industry expertise that they will learn. We then have uh, uh, modern apprenticeships and business administration that allow um, people to understand and support our day-to-day -day functions. In addition to that, we've got um, uh, our traditional skills apprentices, which are in stonemasonry, joinery and, and gardening, um, and they allow us to develop and equip young people who may never have worked in these areas before with the skills they need to go on and, and create careers in that, those areas. Um, uh, we also have a number of graduate traineeships for um, graduate professionals in, in archaeology and history, um, and internships in areas like scientific research and climate change. I think moving forward it's very important for young people to be um, thinking about what the world of work is going to look like over the next 10 years because um, it's going to change massively with introduction and more digital technologies and how we respond to things like climate change and the challenges that we'll face economically um, and the you know, the digital economy that's coming. We need um, staff who are going to be flexible. It's, it's unlikely anybody joining work now will stay in their job for the rest of their lives. So um, having that flexibility of continual learning and development and understanding how they may grow um, is really key to who and what we're looking for as an organisation.